Gentlemen, I have a few questions. Do you like Half-Life 1 or 2, the G-Man, opening portals and doing questionable ethical acts in an underground facility? Bar from judging eyes, I know I do. Well, welcome to Abiotic Factor then. A place with flying killer hamsters, teleporting alien dogs, office rage outs and suspicious co-workers who talk about feeding their lava. But today, we are going to bring peace, stability to this heretical laboratory, whether it be by glitches, a Ponzi scheme, a thousand arrows being used to kill one single robot. Let's begin. We start with a hero that has dry skin and a weak bladder, something we can all relate to after a 14 hour gaming session. By talking to and asserting dominance over the first scientists we meet, we gather that this underground facility has descended into chaos. But remember, chaos is a ladder. A ladder I mean to climb. And here we meet another challenge, requiring our help. But looking at his side of the room, I can't help but get the feeling that we probably should keep this door locked. Noticing that hunger is actually part of the game, I head to the kitchen, only to be attacked by a jumping, spiky alien hamster. The good news though, they jump to the perfect height to be hit just like a baseball. Also, providing the meat so I can eat the flesh of my enemies and grow stronger. Uh, that radiation symbol means we're getting stronger. After getting a taste for violence with the hamsters, we move on to the next logical step the destruction of property to help with our crafting needs. Crafting the energy source we required, Hurry. we head back to assist our colleague on the other side of the door. And with only a screwdriver in hand, I watch as my colleague is mauled to death and then realize I'm next. Surprised, I quickly fight for my life, thankful that the butcher knife does indeed do actual damage. Ultimately, he too would become food, making me question if this was some form of alien food to cooking simulator. And if so, why every piece of food is poisoning me with more and more radiation. Exploring the new open area, I finally discover water, which uh, which also poisons us. It's been as the robots wander the dark corridors and what I can only assume is a radiation induced hallucination of fireflies. More hamsters that assault me at every turn and then I discover a truly horrifying room, a cubicle office space. Filled with an urge to destroy everything in sight that anyone who has ever worked in an office more than a week feels, I proceed to kill, destroy, and loot everything that is absolutely not nailed down to the floor. I even found a water cooler, and it doesn't give me cancer! Feeling refreshed and having an emotional moment at the water cooler, I actually journeyed on and found our first portal. Surrounded by people that looked like they had a really good time, I also noticed a whiteboard that was screaming at me to um, basically take drugs. I knew that there was only one thing left to do, and I can see now why they were asking me to take the drugs. Proceeding through the colourful area known as Far Garden, and encountering its very first sentient resident, I did what the game so far has taught me to do with my trusty lead pipe in hand. And of course, after the victory, I carved out any sweet succulent meat from his corpse, because this is basically a food simulator after all. Gathering something called Antiverse Wheat, that's what I said, wheat thins, wheat thins. I headed back to the base and then needed to ponder my next move. So of course, I headed to the toilet, confident what it was going to be. All the great ideas happen here, let's uh, let's be honest here, people. And so I decided it was time. Time to be free of fear. Time to rule the starting area. It was time to create the crossbow. Because gentlemen, we're now going to find out what is inside of that robot that is always wandering the corridors at night. And the crossbow is the thing to do it. And thus began the biggest mistake I have made because this took forever. And I mean forever. When he finally dropped to the floor with a billion arrows in him, I was finally rewarded for all my time and all of my energy with a cola can, which also gave me radiation poisoning. Enraged for 20 seconds until I realized he also dropped the power core that I actually needed. I then headed once again to the toilet because uh, again, yes, the fight had actually lasted that long. Exiting the toilet, my base was then attacked by several portals, which uh, initially I thought was the robot's revenge in some way or form. Luckily though, it was just hamsters, or more food. With the emboss being a crawling co-walker asking for food, who seemed to basically panic and run away when I tried to give him some food. His loss though, you know, if he doesn't want the radiation poison hamster meat, mine. Anyway, I moved on to the next portal world, which is named Flat Hill. A peaceful looking town. Peaceful as in uh, Silent Hill peaceful. And I discovered sanest and only resident, or so I thought. 
not like them, the, the giants. You are trapped here, but shut down the devices. As Your during our conversation, what can only be described as a giant hollow terror comes stomping up behind him. And I, of course, immediately heroically adopt the oath and hide stance until he leaves. Terrible dawning of realization comes over me at this very moment. This is going to be a stealth level with all these giant horrors. And the in-game message telling me I am completely and utterly f if they catch me, I proceed through the misty, terrifying streets of Flat Hill like a cockroach in the night. Gathering power cores and nachos as one does. Until finally, and we knew it was coming, they spotted me. And the race was on. In a panic where these monstrous horrors were just going to reach across and turn me into a pretzel, I then decided my best course of action was of course to leap from the safety of my balcony where they could not reach me to the floor, breaking both my legs in the process, and then exiting the building, foolishly assuming they couldn't follow. But they can. And do you know, do, do you know those horror movies where the killer is slowly chasing the victim and can't believe all the stupid things the victim has done to make it, you know, so, so much more worse? Yeah, that was me here. But thankfully, I found a door that he basically couldn't crawl in and I thought I was saved. I was wrong. Whoa. The next area had me and my two broken legs still running away from these monsters, diving into every door available to me and even the leaping from server to server on my broken stumps until finally, I made it out, with the game telling me in no uncertain terms that I was completely f and that I needed to lie down or I basically was just going to die anyway and this was all for naught. And laying down also sounded like a really great idea in the real world too. But before I end the video, and if you do decide to play this weird and wonderful game, I just want to give one piece of advice for the future. Do not go AFK with the game running multiple bad things can and will happen anyway thank you for watching